In today's video, we're back out exploring the very western edge of the Peak District. We'll be out exploring the stunning Macclesfield Forest, which is said to be home to a herd of red deer. Before making our way out up onto the moors and summiting the Matterhorn of Cheshire Shuttling Slow. Does this hill live up to its name? What's it like to climb? Let's find out. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you know around here, my name is Kyle. And I'm Hayley. And today we are back out exploring the Peak District. So today then, we've brought you guys back to the Peak District. Specifically, we've brought you to the western side of the National Park. Let's throw it up on the map so we can show you where we are today. We're actually technically in the county of Cheshire, which is somewhere that we don't really come often enough. But today we are starting our video out in the stunning Macclesfield Forest, which is somewhere we've never really properly explored. And then a little bit later on, we're gonna be tackling a rather large hill. I think it's the third highest in Cheshire, actually. Is it that hard to climb though? Stick around, you're gonna find out. So if you guys are excited about today's video and exploring this side of the Peak District with us, make sure you subscribe to the channel with that little subscribe button down there. Hit that bell notification. It really does help us out. You having a rest already? I get the stuff these days. So, car park queen here. Um, if you are looking for parking it for the Macclesfield Forest, uh, there is the paying display at Trentabank Car Park. Uh, there's toilets on site there, um, and there's also a cabin there for the park rangers of the Peak District National Park. Uh, and just a little bit up the road, there's a little bit of free parking and lay-by, which is official parking, or um, there is free parking up on the Standing Stone Car Park. Well, Macclesfield Forest is already surprising us. I've got no idea what this thing is. Probably Papa's house. Put it down in the comments if you know what that tiny little building is tucked away in the woods. But we only came here sort of two or three weeks ago for the very first time. We were so impressed that we had to come back. We wanted to film this place for you guys, get it on the channel because we think it deserves it and hopefully we can do it justice. Um, but we were introduced to it by a couple of friends, uh, Gavin and Jen. Shout out to you both if you're watching. They're local to the area and they actually have a photography business in Macclesfield. They take amazing pictures of pets and families and things like that. So we'll leave links in the description to that if you want to check it out. But if you want to check out the forest, let me just pass you over to my activity correspondent. Coordinator. A coordinator. <laughs> Didn't really rehearse that, did I? So... There's plenty of different things that you can do if you want to come and visit Macclesfield Forest. Yep. Just to name one of them, you can go walking. Go cycling. You can go cycling. There's even options to go horseback riding. <laughs> and apparently even fishing. Yep. Uh, I don't know how true that is, but. There's a lot you can do <laughs> in this area. We're probably not gonna do any fishing today. But no, probably not. Walk in. Definitely.
Are we, uh, are we a bit blocked? We are a bit blocked. I think we've taken the wrong path. <laughs> We're good at that, guys. See, I get really distracted with really nice, woody, deep, dense paths because they look interesting, they right? They do. Um, it looks like a path. I mean, it is a path. It's it is, definitely yeah. at least was a path. Um, we got up early for this one. We keep getting up early for these videos. We're both a bit groggy. I think we've got lost. But what we got to wake us up... I think it's time for some shots. It's time for shots. <laughs> we actually did these in our last video on Anglesey. If you guys saw that Anglesey video, um, they didn't make the cut. <coughs> um, it was such a packed day, wasn't it? It we was. We were so busy. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do these on camera because it's funny. But we do need the wake-up call, don't we? Yes. Who's going We've... first? Well, I don't know. Me. I'm doing it. I'll take the hit. Are we going? We are going. I'm not good at these ginger ones, though. <laughs> You're better at these than I am. Right, bottoms up. This is going to stink. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So guys, out of 10, what would you rate that? <sighs> Let us know in the comments. 10 out of 10. Take two. Oh no. Bottoms up. <laughs> it's got to stay in. Oh, oh that's hot. Oh. That's spicy. Have you finished it? No. What are we saying? Ooh, that's spicy. Ooh. Guys, down in the comments, who's the biggest wuss? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've both definitely got a spring in our step now. <laughs> that was much needed. I think the path was blocked because they've chopped down a few trees and uh, Macclesfield Forest is actually a working forest now. I forget who owns it, I'll stick that on screen. Um, but they do chop the trees down here. I, th I think it's mainly like conifers and pines, things like that. Our favourite kind of woodland. Um, but anyway, we're now going to leave the forest, or find our way out at least. And we're hopefully going to head up and onto the moors next. So that's where we're going to go now. Well, we both just had a cheeky stop off for lunch, which comprised of uh, two bags of crisps. Actually, that was it, wasn't it? I, had a gold bar. I know, and Haley had a gold bar. Shout out to gold bars. Who buys gold bars anymore? <laughs> These people do. Anyway, where are we going? We're leaving the woods now, aren't we? Yeah, we kind of doubled back on ourselves, so we're now back on the main path. Yep. And we're gonna head up to Shutland Slow. Yeah, so. up onto the moor, up onto moors. That's where we're going now, after that short interlude. I got a time lapse out of it though. Go on then. Cutie. Well, we've left the shady confines of Macclesfield Forest behind us and now we've come out into the open. We are exposed out on the moors. It's a little bit windier out here, but it does open up to some incredible views. Now that we're much higher up, you get a lot of fantastic vistas out looking over the Cheshire Peak District. And as an additional fact, my wife has more. Um, Shutling slow is a part of the Peak District Boundary Walk. It is. And it makes it the highest point of the trail, so... Yeah, 200 miles that walk is, guys. <laughs> Don't leave in the comments if you want to see us do that, because <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs>
Well, we've finally seen Shutland Slow for the first time on this walk. Yeah. It's been fairly easy going. There was definitely a bit of a hill to get up here. Yeah. Um, under underestimate the weather today. <laughs> Um, the path surfaces aren't too bad. It's very similar to Mamtor and the Great Ridge if you've been there. Big slabs of stone, so nice and easy to walk on. Yeah. Not all that bad. And you can see why it gets its nickname as the Ma uh, Matterhorn of Cheshire. Uh, from certain angles, it does resemble the Matterhorn in the Alps, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, from this side, it's not quite as big. Um, I did allude to it earlier. Um, how hard is it actually to climb up and there's only just like a little bit left to do um so it's not it's not very steep at all really it's quite no. easy going isn't it no um so we're going to get up there now back that trig and taking those views Amen. go on then Now then, when you get to this gate, it's the last stretch to get up to the top of Shutland Slow. So, you've got two choices, ladies and gentlemen. You can take the steep stairway to hell or the subtle and softer zigzag to heaven. What are we saying? Zigzag. We're doing the zigzag. <laughs> it's too hot for that. Well, welcome, gang, to the top of Shuttling Slow. Uh, this is 1,660 feet in the air. I think that's what I said earlier. Mega views from up here, what are we saying? Yeah, you've got the 360 views, and you have. it's just incredible. Yeah, we've picked a really nice day for it. There's very low wind, which is rare for up here, I imagine. Yeah, I imagine. But there's a few nice little peak district viewpoints that you can pick out from up here, all the spots that we've been to on the channel, actually. Directly in front of us, is the Goit Valley and Irwood Hall. Ooh. Didn't know that, did you? No. <laughs> now you do. Behind us is actually the Roaches and Ludd's Church, and we've got videos on those spots as well, very close yeah. to us. And over in the distance, we've even spotted the skyline of Manchester, which to us is slightly less appealing, <laughs> let's be honest. And you can also see Jodrell Bank, which is a huge observatory way out on the horizon. Don't think we've ever been there, though, have we? Never. <laughs> yeah, mega views from up at the trick point on Shortland Slow. Right guys, so that's the end of today's video. We've very quickly made our way back down because we're starting to get a bit sunburned. We wasn't <laughs> expecting the sun to come out yeah, as, as hot as it did. So make sure you wear sun protection. <laughs> yep, don't, don't do like we do. Um, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully we've shown you a little bit something new today. This place is still semi new to us. Yeah. Uh, this is only our second visit. Yeah. We'll definitely be coming back. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think Papa did too. So. Nice, nice, easy going walk. Nothing too strenuous. Let us know down below what part about this video did you enjoy the most? Did you enjoy Macclesfield Forest or did you enjoy the mega views at the top? <laughs> 
of the Cheshire Matterhorn? Let us know down below in the yeah. comments. Um, if you did enjoy this video and you want to find similar locations that are very close by, um, our recommendations would be just north of here is actually the Goit Valley yes. and there's Irwood Hall, the abandoned ruins. And then a little bit just down the road behind us is actually the Roaches and Ludd's Church. Yeah. Both are videos that we have on this channel. We'll link those at the end for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's yeah. it. Signing off, I yeah. guess. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you like the look of our faces, definitely sunburn this time. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button just down there. That way it'll guarantee that you see us in the next one. So until then. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. <laughs>